Today, I'll be talking about top 5 most controversial anime series that got people very upset and angry. These anime series got a lot of attention. Number 5 on my list is Goblin Slayer. This anime series is practically known for its controversial first episode. Nobody really talks much about it outside of that. There have been two seasons, and even a movie, yet is mainly remembered for its dark first episode. If you don't already know, it's obvious what goblins do to human women. People got very upset about terrible things being done to female characters. Some anime fans try to argue that there have always been these messed up moments in anime series, and it's not a big deal. There are some people that are not that disturbed by it, but see these extreme scenes as unnecessary. They basically see it as the anime series being too edgy. The funny thing is, outside that disturbing first episode, this anime series is not really that dark at all. It just gets a bad reputation solely because of that first episode. Number 4 on my list is Heavenly Delusion. Now this anime series is even more controversial and disturbing than Goblin Slayer. Because terrible things happen to the main character that you like a lot. It's not side characters that no one cares about. One of the main characters has a female body. In a world where society has fallen, and many men have no morals. We know what happens to women in that world. We see a main character that I like a lot. Slowly have this terrible thing being done to them. People are always going to be very upset. Even though we see much worse from other anime series. It was probably the fact that it was happening to a character that I grew attached to. That got people so upset. The thing is. Manga fans were spoiling this moment early on. So pretty much every anime only fan was expecting something terrible, but they probably didn't expect something like this. It caused people to want to drop the anime series, and say this anime series is terrible now, despite being so good before that moment. Number 3 on my list is The Rising of Shield Hero. This anime certainly led to heated arguments right away from the first episode. It brought up the topic of women falsely accusing men of doing inappropriate things to them. And of course, people try to compare it to accusations that women make in real life. People saw his anime series trying to send a message about women making false accusations. That might not have been the purpose, but some people took it that way. That of course, led to heated arguments on the topic. This anime series continues to get even more controversial, with the main character constantly buying slaves. Which again, led to even more heated arguments. Some people just can't separate fiction from reality. Number 2 on my list is Arrow Manga Sensei. Of course this anime series was going to be on the list. This anime series represents everything people hate about anime. It's pretty obvious that anime has a negative reputation in regards to mainstream media and many places on the internet. When you hear about anime in the news, you can always assume it is newscasters being upset about anime. Whenever I go on Twitch, and something anime related comes up, people in the chat feel disgusted by it. Overall, people have negative perception of anime for one main reason, which is because of lollies. There are a lot of lollies and lolly fan service in the main anime series. These people obviously feel very disturbed seeing lollies. This anime series didn't just show lolly fan service, it embraced it and went all out with it at times. I couldn't believe some of the things it was showing. Several of the important characters were lollies, and there was a lot of fan service involving them. Of course, people get upset. So this anime series brought up the oldest debate about lollies, and the impact that lollies have on a person's mind. Obviously, these arguments get very heated on the internet. Number one on my list is Mushoku Tensei. As popular as Aero Manga Sensei was, Mushoku Tensei is easily more popular and gets talked about more. So obviously, it's going to get a lot more negative attention. If you watch the anime series, we all know why it's controversial. This anime series went beyond just lolly fan service. The main character was 34 years old when he got killed, and he then was reincarnated into a new world. He is now a perverted main character. At a young age. It looks like girls that are around his age in this world in a lewd way. You can understand why his anime series is controversial. 
and gets people upset. It is another case of people not separating fiction from reality. In Season 1 Part 2, one of the most controversial things you will ever see in anime series happens near the end. We all know about that moment between Rudy and Eris. That moment that led many people to rage about this anime series and talk about how disgusting that moment was. You have people defending it and saying it's just fiction after all. Nothing is off limits in fiction. For me, that is how I felt. It is just fiction, not real. There are a ton of weird things that occur in the anime series. If we got upset about every single thing, there won't be much left to watch. Even if you try to argue about just being fiction, the other side is not going to listen. People who hate Mushoku Tensei will of course compare it to real life. And say if you like anime series like this, you are defending this sort of terrible behavior. Some Mushoku Tensei fans are obviously not going to like hearing people say that about them. And the argument becomes very toxic. It got so bad that the moderators on my anime list forums had to clean up a lot of the heated arguments. So, if you ever wonder why you don't see much negative comments about the series, the comments are either deleted by moderators in anime forums, or they're massively downvoted on Reddit. To me, that moment between Eris and Rudy was the most controversial thing I have ever seen in the anime series. I still can't believe that was shown on TV. I probably wouldn't recommend this anime series to people that aren't major anime fans and can't separate fiction from reality. There's a good chance they will get triggered and upset.